Sometimes when you're writing unit tests, you'll have certain classes that you'll want to use inside of your Android test directory and also inside of your test directory. So used for instrumentation tests and also for local unit tests. Android test is instrumentation tests. These are local unit tests. So if you want to share resources, say you have, you know, some kind of a some kind of a mock object that you want to use in both classes that you want to build manually, you would have to build a common directory that those two can reference. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to build a directory that can be accessed from both the Android test section and the test section. So the first thing that you want to do is go inside of your source folder, go to new directory and give it a name. So the name that I'm going to give it is test common because it's a common directory shared between the two test directories. Inside there, you want to create another directory named Java. So basically what I'm doing is I'm mimicking what each of these look like. It's a, there's a name and then there's a Java directory. So main Java directory, name uh, Java directory, and then name Java directory. So now inside here, I want to copy the package structure to help things help keep things organized. So if you go to my main package structure, I have com coding with Mitch unit testing two, and then I have this util package. And inside the util package is usually where I put all of my utility classes. So that's the same kind of structure that I'm going to follow for this test common, um, this test common directory. So I'm going to right click on the Java directory inside test common, and I'm going to copy that package. So coding with Mitch, so com coding with Mitch, dot unit testing two, and I want to get into that util package, and then I'm going to click OK. So now I have the exact same directory structure inside here as I do in my main package directory and inside my test directories. Now, when you just do when you just did that on your project, it might not look like this, this Java folder probably isn't green. And that's because I have something added to my build.gradle app file that you don't this source sets section here. So if I comment this out and I sync it, then you're going to see exactly or I should be seeing exactly what you're seeing. So if I go into the test common, notice that none of these directories are highlighted now, it just kind of looks like a plain old directory hierarchy. So what this source sets section here does is it's actually telling Android Studio where these shared directories exist. So it's saying the, it's adding some source sets to different directories. In this case, the two directories are Android test and test. So what it's saying is it's saying, look for any directories named that follow this structure and you can use them inside the Android test directory. So it's saying android.java or sorry, android test.java, uh, add this to the source, the, the possible sources for resources. So sourced test common Java, which is what we just created. And then do the same thing for the local unit tests. So now, now that I have this kind of this source set set up and I have this common directory set up, now I can go inside the util package. I can create another class. I'll just call it test util. And now this test util class inside this application, we're building uh, note objects. So I'll just create a dummy note object, I guess here equals new note doesn't matter. And now I can access this, uh, I better make it public. I can access this inside the test directory and also inside the instrumentation test directory. So I'll give you a give you an example, I'll go into uh, this instrumentation test, and I'll show you that I can reference the test util class. I didn't make that static, public, static, and I can uh, I can reference our our note object. So note note equals test util dot note, and there's that note object. And I can do the exact same thing inside of the local unit test. So I can just choose one of these uh, one of these tests. It doesn't matter. I'll go into this one, and I'll just copy that same thing in there. And you can see it has no problem accessing that dummy note object that I've added to the common directory. So I'm going to delete these, delete that. And uh, so there we go. That's that's just kind of a simple example for you to see how to use common directories when writing unit tests. It's definitely going to come in handy because if you write a lot of unit tests, there's going to be some some classes that you're going to need in both. And so it's usually just better to create a common directory. That way they can be accessed from either instrumentation tests or local unit tests. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you probably have no idea what this project is. But if you're watching this video on my website, it's actually part of a uh, unit testing course on my website. So if you are watching it, uh, I just want to let you know that in the next video, 
we are going to work on, I know you want to start testing the DAO, but uh, we're going to be working on uh, getting ready to test the DAO still. So I'm going to be building a class that's going to go inside of this common directory that's going to facilitate uh, testing live data. It's going to help us be able to test live data a little bit easier. And then we're going to move on to testing the room DAO.